Hi. Thank you. Thank you, puppy. Hey guys, good morning. It is Maggie and I am back today. Um, I haven't been on YouTube for a few days because I really haven't felt well. And I hate coming on here just kind of saying every time, oh, I'm really not feeling well. Um, <laughs> It's pretty frequent, it seems, uh, and it's very irritating. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what's been going on. The last like week and a half, two weeks maybe, I have been more exhausted than I typically have been. Like, sleeping three hours a day, have zero focus, can't get anything done, and it's very frustrating. Um, and in the afternoons, I've been getting pretty bad headaches. I wouldn't call them migraines, but they do come with nausea. Um, so that's been frustrating. I am thinking it's sinus related. And I know I haven't gone to see the ENT because the sinuses, as soon as I'm like thinking they're bad, um, they get a little bit better and then I'm like, oh, it's fine. It's fine. I can wait because the ENT is like a 45 minute drive away and there's already too much going on. There's like, that's just, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> and they want me to come see him again to get anything taken care of. And that's another like 50 to $70. So it's just, it's just annoying. But I do think that this is sinus related. I mean, I know that there is a sinus infection. I, I am sure of it sure of it and it's kind of just been going on for a long time and it gets a little bit better it gets a little bit worse and i just didn't i don't want antibiotics because you know antibiotic resistance is real i think people overuse them a lot so i really do try to avoid them but yesterday woke up with pretty bad uti symptoms um fairly certain it's a uti and i think my body is just at a point of like you can't fight this on your own. The medication that I take, Humira, does this. It makes it very hard for me to get rid of infections and I hate that because I don't like going to the doctor every five seconds. It's very irritating to me. I don't like being on antibiotics. Uh, they have their own side effects that make you feel bad too. <sighs> but I, I finally, I finally made a call, so. Here's that. I am calling because I have kind of like a dual infection going on right now. Um, I had a sinus infection for, I don't even know how long I've had surgery for it. Um, but yesterday I woke up with UTI symptoms as well. <laughs> so I'm just like, I've been trying to fight the sinus infection. I um, had surgery last April to open up the sinuses and it's helped a ton, but because of a medication I'm on um, called Humira, I think that my body is just not letting me get rid of it. Um, and then the UTI kind of tipped me over the edge. I was like, all right, I think I need a little help. So I was wondering if there was any appointments available um, either today or tomorrow. 1045, <laughs> that would be perfect. I am up fairly early today because I had an 8 a.m. call on the computer. Um, I actually have another call this afternoon. It's during my fluids appointment. Yes, I have fluids today. I would have canceled them because I feel terrible. I really do not feel good. Like I'm probably gonna go lay down on the couch before I have to go. Um, but if this is a UTI, I think probably a liter and a half of fluids would be a good thing to help flush my bladder out. And you know, I have had symptoms of UTIs. I'm not going to say confirmed, but I've had symptoms of UTIs in the past that I've been able to get rid of using d mannose powder. What does it do? It like makes it so the bacteria can't embed itself into the wall of your bladder. Um, I think for E. coli, which is the most common cause of a UTI, but I do that and it really does help. And I actually think it is helping this time, but I think my body as a whole I think I'm just infected. I think I'm infected. I don't know how else to say it. I think I'm tired. I think my body's tired. I'm exhausted trying to fight like multiple bugs. Um, so I'm gonna see the doctor tomorrow morning and hopefully get this situated and 
probably start antibiotics or something. That's that's my guess. I'm hoping that they'll actually test my urine. Um, they don't always do it because mo a majority of the time it is E. coli that causes UTI. So they know, they, they most likely know what they're fighting. Um, but I did mention like, I have had sinus problems and I also have a UTI now. So if there's anything that can battle both of that, I would like to partake. Uh, and it is Easter weekend, so this will be fun. But I'm glad they were able to get me in tomorrow because tomorrow is Good Friday. Uh, I'm actually glad they couldn't get me today because I have to leave around 11.45 for my fluids, which is an hour drive there and an hour drive back. And I spend two hours there and I'm actually going to take a phone call on my, f like a video call on my phone. Don't let yourself get to my point. I just don't like calling a doctor every five seconds. I don't enjoy it. So I think that I'm gonna go get my pillow. Zach is still asleep upstairs because it's early, but I think I'm gonna run into the bedroom, get my pillow, and, and go to sleep on the couch. Cause it's, yeah, I have a couple hours before, a little more than a couple hours before I have to leave, so yeah. Don't worry, I'm not actually asleep. That's me fake sleeping on camera, but um, I'm actually gonna go to sleep now, so I'm gonna turn the camera off and I will see you in a little bit. Okay guys, don't worry, I didn't I didn't sleep through my alarm. It is almost one o'clock. Um, there was so much freaking traffic getting here, but thankfully I got here and I'm gonna run in to get fluids. I really am excited. I hope they make me feel better, but I also think some nice antibiotics will do me good. I'm looking forward to tomorrow and just getting started on something because I can just tell my body's done. My body is like, you are not going to beat this on your own. Uh, go get some help. But I also have my phone and my headphones in my purse here because I'm going to take a call during my fluids, which I don't, I don't like doing because I think I personally feel like it should be kind of quiet in there when people are getting fluids. There's a lot of like actually sick people who need fluids what the heck was that there's people getting chemo and stuff and and they're nauseated and they don't feel good and but that doesn't stop people from being loud in there and i can't control that so i guess i'm joining them but i'm gonna run inside get my fluids and i will be back in a couple of hours Maybe I'll put you guys right there. Would that work? I think that'll work. Oh my gosh, guys. So, great call that I had. It was ostomy related, talking to somebody who works with an ostomy company. It was great. Um, I feel out of breath. I've got a lot of fluid in me. I think you can tell in my face. I kept seeing myself, you know, in the Zoom call, and I just looked like I was getting puffier and puffier and I think my eyes are already a little puffy from the sinus problems <laughs> but the UTI is very frustrating because I really try to train myself with the UTI to not keep going to the bathroom because if you've ever had one it's like when your bladder empties that's when the pain comes on like the spasm and so I'm like all right well the less that you go <laughs> the less you'll have that pain and so I only try to pee when I feel like I need to, but I had to before I left and now my bladder feels all irritated again and I have an hour drive home. Ugh, it's annoying. I brought a bubbly with me as a treat. I don't think it'll be too irritating to my bladder. My bladder's already irritated. Oh my gosh, my face. Oh, 
It feels very puffy and also my weight today was 98.6. I think that's the highest that I've weighed here. Exciting. Um, it seems like I'm gaining about a pound every two to three weeks. So that's pretty cool. And it's also amazing because I really, you know, with the nausea, I haven't been eating a ton. So I haven't been eating like terribly, but my appetite's probably a little diminished. And so I'm actually kind of amazed, but I am going to drive home now. I'm so tired, more tired than I normally am because I think my body's just done fighting all these infections. So looking forward to my doctor's appointment tomorrow. I may actually continue this video in tomorrow because I know when I get home, you're not gonna hear from me. I'm gonna be out again. Oh, my friend called. So I'm gonna call her on my way home and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's the next day and I'm just about to leave for the doctor. I am very much looking forward to this because last night was rough. Last night was, it was a battle between my head just feeling so like headachy and foggy and congested and my bladder <laughs> freaking out. It actually, my bladder feels a lot better this morning actually because um, I continue taking D-Manos but yeah, I think my body is just ready for some help. So I'm gonna get my stuff together and I think I'm gonna head over. I feel like I'm in a fog right now. So, all right, let me get my stuff together and we will go to the doctor. Dixie, do you wanna come up here? Come on, come on. Come on up. Yes, come on. <laughs> okay, you gotta sit. Can you, oh, you get a wiggy too, don't you? You get a wiggy too. Hi, hi, Miss Brian. I know, I've got my, my other lens, so it's hard to see you. Big yawns. Big yawns. <laughs> Can I tell them about my appointment without you nosing my arm for pets? I just picked up the camera so I could tell them about my appointment. She's already given up. Okay, fine. That's how it is. All right, so the appointment went great. It's actually a few hours later. I've just kind of been sitting around waiting for the pharmacy to fill my prescription, and they still haven't, and I, I just want to start it. But the appointment did go well. Um, I got a urine test and a urine culture, which will not come back till Monday, but the doctor didn't want to wait to start me on something, so if it's something crazy that this antibiotic doesn't cover, then she'll probably switch it up. She did do a urine test and said that there were red blood cells and white blood cells in my urine, so makes sense. And I actually um, saw a little bit of blood when I did the test in the bathroom there. When I wiped, I was like, oh, okay. So <laughs> there you go. And I told her about my sinuses too. And uh, yeah, she agreed. Put me on an antibiotic for 10 days that will hopefully cover both the UTI and the sinus infection. And then I asked about a steroid taper, which I do try to avoid steroids just because sometimes people with things like Crohn's disease can have issues getting off of steroids, but it's a much lower dose than what I was on years and years ago. Um, I don't, you know, I haven't been on steroids in a long time and it's only for 10 days. So I was like, you know what? I think that it could be helpful just to cut the inflammation down up here because it feels so, I feel so congested. I don't think I sound it and I can breathe out of my nose, but it, there is a lot of drainage coming out. I think, you know, they open my sinuses with surgery, so it helps me drain it out, but I just keep getting like the sinuses filled back up so quickly. So hopefully the steroids can help cut the inflammation down. The antibiotics will reach the infection a little bit better and yeah, and hopefully it'll it'll zap this UTI at the same time because, uh, sorry, I just pushed the chair back. My belly is swollen from it. And, like she checked my back and stuff too and asked if I was having any back pain. I said, no, no, I don't think my kidneys are involved yet, but <laughs> I don't want to let it get there, you know? So uh, it was just my bladder area that's kind of tender and I look super bloated. So it's annoying. But when I went in there, um, they had to weigh me at that office too. And you know, I got weighed yesterday. I was 98.6. 
and I was 99.12 or something. It actually, as I stepped on the scale, it hit 100 and then it went down. And I was like, ah, oh, dang it. So I filled her in on that. I was like, yeah, my GI is really happy with my weight gain. Yay. So that's how it went. But now I just, I keep, um, refreshing my my app for my pharmacy to see if <laughs> my stuff has been filled so that way Zach and I are gonna go fill that and get something to eat. I don't know what's taking so long. The antibiotic that she prescribed is, I'll tell you in a second here, um, Cephiroxime Axetil? Gotta be honest with you, I don't think I've heard of that. Maybe, hold on, let's google the, um, the brand name if there is one. Seftin. I don't think I've been on Seftin before. So hopefully I can start that, start feeling better. We can enjoy Easter. Um, we we're invited to my brother and sister-in-law's and that's going to be tomorrow. And I was like, I'm sorry. I just... I'm like sleeping all day. It's terrible. Last night I felt so bad. I felt so icky. All I did was crawled into bed and watched Zoe 101 till I fell asleep. So that's how last night went. But um, yeah, I just, <sighs> I am really trying hard to remind myself that I can't fight every battle on my own when it comes to my health. As much as I want to do that, I don't like taking antibiotics. I'm sick of going to the doctor. But I, I, I wind up having to go anyway. And uh, if I just go sooner rather than later, at least I don't waste all this time feeling terrible. It just gets really old. But I, I told the doctor I feel like my body just was done. Like there's too many things going on and it just needs to... I need help to get rid of this and hopefully once the antibiotics do their job and the steroids do their job, I'll feel a lot better and be back to myself because I, re I haven't even been able to like look at a computer screen at all this week. I've just, it's like a, I don't want to call it a migraine, but it's like a, it's like a, a fuzz or a a veil or something like it makes me feel like my eyes are gonna cross on me and um haven't been able to focus or anything so i will be excited when i'm i'm feeling back to myself and hopefully it won't take too long but i thought i would share this <laughs> uh just to let you guys know why i haven't been on youtube this week um and hopefully we will be back to regularly scheduled programming when i feel better but um I just, I needed to get this taken care of and I needed to just rest. So there you go. But hopefully you guys are feeling great. I hope that this weekend, if you are celebrating anything, that you enjoy your time. Or if it's just a, you know, couple of days off, I hope you enjoy that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon. And I'll update you on how I'm feeling. Bye guys.